is composed of this component, which is a, a foot radical, chur. So that indicates the meaning of going. And then you have this component, which is a host or a master. Um, it would, it's supposed to be the phonetic wong, would be closer to that phonetic, of course, wong. Pie, pie, shu, dian, hung, hung, shu, hung. Just remember the phonetics are not always very closely related for a number of reasons. The sounds change over time and so, does, so do the shapes of things. Um, jiang. So we have the zuo er pong, the ear on the left hand, which is a short form of this. I seem to write it a different way every time. Fu, which depicts um, a hillside, so indicating a place, or here in this case coming down the, a mountain because that is zhi, that's one foot, and this is jie, another foot. So someone is coming down the hill fast. Hung, zhe, wan, go, shu, pie, hung, pie, na, hung, shu, hung, shu, jiang. Luo. The top of luo is cao zi to, cao meaning grass, uh, usually refers to a plant. In this case, it means to descend like the leaves of a tree, and the bottom part is the name of a river pronounced luo, so it's just phonetic in this case. Hung shu, shu, dian dian ti, Pie hung pie na shu hung ja hung luo. Quan complete completely everything taken care of. It uh, with the ren on the top. In this case, it indicates unity. Ba would indicate division, but here things are pulled together, and the king. This character is king, but the original meaning of this was that all of this stuff has been united, finished, brought together. And this character um, is C, to connect, bringing things together, as in guanxi. But in this case, it also means to connect or fasten, such as a seat belt. So here you have a depiction of the hand, pie, pie ja, pie ja, dian, shu go, pie, dian. So the bottom part, silk, you're tying things together, you're taking the threads and tying them. G, to calculate, to clan, Plan is just the speech radical, dian, hung, ja, ti, and shi as a phonetic, hung, shu, to number things, to count them, and the radical yen comes from yen, to speak, to speech, to express yourself. Swan has the bamboo radical, ju zi to, there's our ju, bamboo. And um, what I think you have beneath this is a depiction of an abacus, there you go, on a stand to count. And the abacus would be made of wood like bamboo, pie, hung, dian, pie, hung, dian, shu, hung, ju, hung, 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 Pie, shu, swan, to count. Pin is just a depiction of items, implements, by just showing a bunch of them together, objects. Shu, hung, ja, hung, shu, hung, ja, hung. Da. The right hand side. Cao zi to, 
over Thai, pronounced da, is a tangled plant. It's just phonetic in this case. And so we have the phonetic, or the radical, ti shou pong, hung, shu go, ti, hung, shu, shu, pie, je, dian, shu, hung, je, hung, da, cheng. Now, the origin of this character doesn't come from this at all, but the way I remember this is that it is he, millet, with bay split on either side. The original, of the, the original is thought to be two men in a chariot, but uh, going northward to gather millet, it makes as much sense as anything to me. Pierre, hung, hung, shu, hung, shu, go, Pierre, shu, wang, go. I probably did that out of order. Pierre, na, chung, hang, is a sail, or to sail in the heavens. So you have a boat, Pierre. Shu, hung, ja, go, dian, dian, hung. And then here is some kind of depiction of a sail. You've got the beam that holds it. And then here is the shape of it somehow. Ji, hong, dong. Originally means roof beam. So by extension, a measure word for a building. Uh, and dong. East is just phonetic in this case. Mu, tree or wood on the left, for obvious reasons. Hung, shu go, pie, dian, hung, shu ja, shu go, pie, dian, dong. Cha, a crossway or an intersection of a fork in the road. So the dot in the middle just indicates that it's different than right hand. Hung, Pierre, Dien, Na, indicating the fork in the road. Zuo. So this top part is hand in itself. Hung, Pierre, and then Gong to work. So the left hand assists in working. Zuo. Zuo actually does mean to assist in addition to meaning on the left side. Guai, to turn. So we have the hand radical again. Shu, uh, hung, shu go, ti. And then this component we've seen in bie, a mouth on top of li, strength. In this case, it's just phonetic. Guai. Jir, this indicates a straight line coming directly from the eye. So like, um, here's your eye, and the light comes down like that. Sometimes it looks like there's some a refraction or something. That's what the 10 over the top is, I think. So shir, over the top, and then I, mu. Shu, hung, ja, hung, hung. Hung, but remember this is an extra line in here, and then hung. Jir, um, sometimes it's called straight, but I think it's better to say continuous. John, to uh, open up to display the top part is a depiction of a body, um, something like an adaptation of a person. And then the bottom part is an obsolete component that meant two hands. So if you can think of two hands in that, it may help you remember it. Hung, ja, hung, pie, hung, shu, shu, hung, shu, go, pie, na, john, bien. The top part 
is a component that's simplified from speech and threads to bring things out of chaos. So this thing to uh, organize and, and bring things together. And then you've got the right hand below it. So an indication of change, changing things for the better. Dian, hung, shu, shu go, dian, dian, hung, pie, na, bian, hua. Another meaning of transformation. Pie, shu, the renza pong, and then we have pie, shu, wan, go. This is a depiction of a person right side up and then a picture of another person upside down or the same person to be transformed, to be changed. No. This is originally a depiction of people working in the fields in the morning. So in the morning. So farmers are the ones that get up early and go into the fields. Dian, hung, go, pie, shu, go, pie, na. The next character, tien, I think we've seen enough of it that we don't need to spend much time on it. It depicts a field or else a section of, of rice fields. And they're very well defined because you need to make paddocks. You need to keep uh, the water inside. O, o. Um, this, in this case, is the phonetic U, a room, and the top part, we just learned it as body, but in this case, it is a household, a depiction of the left side of a doorway. So the mouth indicates we're using it, the codes upon, using it just as a transcription of the sound. Sure. So now, again, we see this component, but this time it does mean body. And then the na is, may indicate the length of the span of the hand of someone. Hung, je, hung, pie, na. So a chur, a unit of length. Shan, a mountain. Shu, shu, je, shu. Mountain, that's pretty obvious. Dung is fire. Hua, dian, dian, pie, dian, hung, shugo. So the right hand side is phonetic. Ding, ding is a depiction of a nail. Dung of a lamp. Xiang means to face something, face in a direction. Dian, shu, hung, je, go, shu, hung, je, hung. So originally this was a depiction of a house with a window showing where you face, where you're going. Xiao. Yo, the right hand. So we've seen many, many care examples of yo as right hand. And this has the same pronunciation, but it's written out like this. So that is a depiction of a hand. And then ko, you can remember this as the hand that you eat with, that you put food in your mouth with. Yo, the right hand. Juan. So we have the cart radical to indicate the idea of turning. Hung, pie, je, shu, hung. And then the right side is phonetic, hung, hung, pie, je, je, dian. Uh, so the right, the right side phonetic may have shown someone leading an ox by the hand. Is that going to help you? Possibly. See, there's the horns, there's the hand. Mm. 
one, a bend or a turn. Um, Luan, the thing on top indicates the string of a bow and the bow is gong. So let's show this. This is derived from silk. Dian, hung, shu, shu go, dian, dian. So that's one component of silk. And then the bow is beneath it. Hung, ja, hung, shu, ja, wan. Go, wan, a bend or a turn. Fei. The top part of this is phonetic, and it can mean a number of different things in classical Chinese, including the Buddha, just for its phonetic sound. Hung jia, hung. Shu jia, wan, go. So you can see that looks like bow that we just saw. But then you have pie, shu, through the middle of it. And then beneath it, we have money or cowrie shell. Shu, hung jia, pie, dian. So the money part, this is phonetic. There's the money, the fee, fei. Mean. Um, this is not an accurate indication of the development of the character, the evolution of it, but it's thought to be this, that the top part is the eye. Should go, and then the bottom part here is the legs. Oh, excuse me, don't go with that one. That the top part is the eye, and the bottom part are the legs of the common people. But there, nobody's really clear about why mean means people. B, so currency. Cloth, jin, uh, just a depiction of a strip of cloth. Could even be a headband or a handkerchief. That was, cloth was anciently used for tribute or for tax, so it came to refer to currency. And you use the pie to indicate that you're talking about something else than just the cloth itself. B, end of lesson three.